Yo, yo, what it is, boy? It's your nigga Lil Fame. I represent the world famous MOP right about now. Y'all checking out. Power play. Keep it right here before I slap you upside your goddamn mouth, boy. Legends of hip hop right now, right? Yeah. And y'all been in the game over ten years now, huh? Yeah. How how would feel to, to even hear people call y'all legends and, and veterans? Like ten, ten years ago, would you even have thought that somebody would be calling you a veteran? Or like, no. No, I'm trying to even figure out if I even like that shit. Though. Like being a veteran? I mean, you know, veteran? No, veteran, all right. But legends. I mean, how does that feel? Like, do you feel like? It's a beautiful thing, man. Sometimes, you know, but that shit don't pay the bills. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nigga, yo, you're a veteran, nigga. That shit don't pay my bills. Nigga. But it's, it's love, you know what I mean? It's love. We try to show the love back, man. Being a legend don't pay the bills. So, like, is that is that the point now you say everything should be about getting this bread right or? Yeah, that's what it's about. That's what it's mostly about. Yeah, I did the big move with um with G a couple years ago. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. And it, it seemed like that. That should have been a lucrative move. But we never. It was. It. it was. We had a good time. We. We hit the road, you know we did. Got drunk. Yeah, we got drunk. <laughs> we got drunk as a motherfucker. Well, it is. It's timing as a motherfucker, you know what I mean? All right. So, no, no album never came out with that, with that, um, no. under that umbrella. No. Under that umbrella, under the Rockefeller umbrella either. I think what happened with with both of the both of those labels were that they were they they were kind of on a decline. Not when we got there, but before we actually got a chance to put the records out, they kind of started declining so you know what I mean like you know like I said before like we can't wait for somebody else to get their car up and running we got our own car with our own family in it. so we had to move we handle our business right you know what I mean like you know if we dealing with uh, uh, CEOs of other labels of the non-African American <laughs> niggas Niggas that ain't niggas. When we go in there and deal with other people, and we ain't dealing with niggas, we deal with them a certain way. When we deal with, you know, uh, uh, brothers that run their companies, we deal with them a certain way. You know what I'm saying? And we got we got a mutual respect from uh, with Fifty and Jay. What's the difference? Well, why would you deal with them differently? Well, well, because you may have to. You deal accordingly, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you just only thing you do is you just uh, you adjust. You know what I'm saying? Like, however, however, like. You know, when I when we were on Relativity or Select or Sony, we didn't get to sit with the head of the company. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when we dealt with G Unit, I actually stayed in Fitty's house for like five months. I was in Fitty's house more than he was. You know what I'm saying? Or when we dealt with Rockefeller, I'm at the bar with with Daniel. You know what I'm saying? So you deal you deal with these with these with these cats a little different from you deal with these other cats, you know what I'm saying? So, and it was it was never no hard feelings, even though business is business. Like those guys, uh, those guys are man enough to understand if you hold somebody back, uh, uh, it's actually wrong to hold somebody back because this is what I do for a living, and I do this to take care of my family. So. Oh my lord, M O P, bust a bust, come on. You know, so far so good. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Ain't nothing new to us. Like, I yeah. heard the first, the first joint is crazy. The, the, what's that? Ring of Horns? Little Horns? Little Horns, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That joint is crazy. It sound like vintage MOP. Yeah. Like, y'all ain't really changed the sound all these years. Have you ever been tempted to? Have you ever heard Stanky Lake and say, damn, me, you ain't my sound. You know what I mean? Have you, you know, you might have been tempted to say, I never, even, no, I never heard the record, but I just hear the jokes about the fucking record. Like I hear everybody say, I hear people singing it. You know, the young yeah, kids, yeah, yeah, I got yeah. kids, so I hear them singing it, but I never actually heard the record. But. You can't get tempted. Just like I told, uh, I told uh, this other dude a little minute ago. Like, what happened with MOP is we started the way that we are. You know what I mean? Like, this is who we are. This is what we do. So we can't. I mean, we can do other things because we have the talent to. But we kind of just being us. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't want to change. And I, I don't think I could do a record called Stinky. I'm not. I don't think I could. I mean, at this point, you don't been through the. Ooh, a couple different areas of hip-hop, man. Yeah. And a shitload of money. Make sure people know that, because I, 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 I'm tired of people thinking that niggas is broke. Niggas been thinking we've been broke for years. Because you'll see me up on Springfield Boulevard just chilling. You know what I'm saying? You'll see me up on the app just chilling. I might get out of a cab, or I might jump out of a 7. 
You know what I'm saying? Either or. I might have some slippers on or I might have some gators on. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling. I want people to... I'm tired of motherfuckers thinking I'm broke. I swear to God. I swear to God. That shit bothers me. Because well, I go to the store and get a sandwich. Talk Dude. about where y'all get bread from. Talk about that. Dude. Somebody talk about how, how a nigga make money without selling two million records. Hey, Dude. one conversation. Man. Dude, let me tell you something. <laughs> We've been together. Let me tell you something. I am one of the... I, I'm one of those kind of dudes that will do whatever it takes to take care of my family. And I got a big ass family. I ain't been in the street. I ain't had to rob a nigga in over 10, 12 years. So this money got to be coming from somewhere. You understand what I'm saying? So, and I mean enough money. Like, we, we haven't been, I haven't had a money problem since I was a teenager. <laughs> You know what I mean? So and I'm good. I'm good and always been good. You know what I mean? So every time I leave out my fucking house is a business move. So we did the majors. We did, you know, we traveled the world, dude. Like we we from Brownsville, Brooklyn. Little, little grimy has part of Brooklyn. Like, you know, the further you the furthest you go, nigga, is upstate to Canada, nigga, to the jailhouse, nigga, and you don't go no further than that, you know what I'm saying? So unless you're making you a little rundown down the way trying to get you a dollar. That's the furthest you go. Anybody coming from Brownsville, nobody goes further than that, nigga. I've been everywhere in the world except for Japan and Africa. I'm, I'm paid right there, nigga. I actually got off the block and then get a hole knocked in me. You know what I'm saying? Now we just, now we're just gonna keep, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna uh, keep running on it now. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, with the, with the foundation album uh, coming out, uh, the new MLP album that is, uh, then. Uh, other projects that we're working on, Fame's working on a solo, I'm working on a solo, and other artists that we're working on, and then we'll bring it back around again with another MOP album. So we just gonna keep running. Ain't gonna be no more hiatus. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your, your style of music is hardcore hip hop, it don't seem like hip hop is in favor right now. Yeah, yeah. Hip hop don't seem like it's in favor. But you, you know what? Man? But you know what? If you do what you love, man, that's that's all that matter, man. It's like your style of music. I got a bunch of people that love my style of music. You know what I mean? And they gonna find it regardless. Long as I long as long as they're able to purchase it, they gonna purchase it. You know what I'm saying? That's all that matter. Whether it's ten thousand or ten, you know what I mean? I'm coming from how about some hardcore now? What's, what's your legacy in the game? Oh, 15, man. 16 years of just dope shit. <laughs> That's all it is. We have we have put out some of the dopest records in hip hop history, and. Uh, ain't nobody got to tell me that, I just happen to know it my motherfucking self because I actually pay attention to me. Yeah, what up y'all, it's your boy Dan's one half of the world's famous MOP firing squad. Power play. I ain't gonna say that. I'm not gonna get that fool. 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 Get that f